Welcome back. So, Joe, what are some of the recent regulations that have gone into place? Can you tell us about them and what kind of effect they've had so far? Sure. Well, under the, uh, Rebecca, under the Tobacco Control Act, which went into effect uh, in June uh, of this year, June of 2010, um, we basically have four bullet point goals that, that we're looking at. And one, of course, is to prevent youth from using tobacco. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't want young people get hooked at all at any age. We don't want young people using tobacco at all. Education will help a lot. Also, we want to help adults um, work into mechanisms that will help them quit. You know, I mean, there are patches, there are pills, there is therapy, and there's a lot of ways for you know ad addicted adults to uh, become unaddicted and stop using tobacco products. Mm -hmm. That's important. Um, and also, it's really important to, to make sure the public understands the contents of tobacco and the consequences of using it. Mm -hmm. You know, long-range education on all levels to all groups. You know, coming on, on, on this program is a great thing for the FDA because we get a message out to people and, and, and we sort of drive home mm -hmm. the, 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 you know, the problem with smoking and the negative consequences. And we, we've been always developing, Rebecca, a scientifically based uh, understanding of the regulations and how they impact on people um, and, and how tobacco related diseases you know cause disability and death and all the negative ramifications so if you look at the tobacco control act those are the four major premises mm -hmm. that, that we're impl uh, implementing um, it's it's a major concern we're working with, with with retail statewide throughout the New England district and throughout the nation to, uh, to make sure young people are not involved in tobacco use. Mm -hmm. um, it's a long, long slug. It really is. It's, it's, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of coordination, and a lot of outreach, a lot mm -hmm. of outreach, really. So that's basically the premise that we're approaching. And w when we have uh, regulatory control over marketing, uh, distribution, and sales of tobacco products, we think this time around will be particularly successful in, in driving the point home. We hope. We're optimistic. Okay. That kind of is a, um, going off of my next question, which is, you know, the FDA's record with regard to regulating tobacco products to young people um, hasn't been so great. Uh, do you expect the most recent efforts to be any more successful? Well, that's a great question, and um, boy, I'm optimistic. I mean, having been deeply involved as a younger member of the agency mm -hmm. back in the 1990s, it was a great time because it was a time of optimism. Uh, it, it was a great cause. I believed in it. Kessler believed in it. The agency believed in it. Um, and it, it, it was a bit of a crusade, sort of a health care crusade. Do I think we'll do better this year or this time around? I really think so. I think the, uh, the current administration is dedicated to this. Uh, the major tobacco companies Rebecca, don't have the, the pull and the, the power they used to have. They, they still make a lot of money. Uh, they still voice sincerity. I, sometimes I'm skeptical about that. Um, but they, they don't have uh, the popular support that they used to. I think people are becoming more health conscious. I mean, if you look at the workout programs, uh, the sports programs, uh, the sense of, uh, you know, our involvement in, in athletic uh, awareness and, and, and such, um, I think we're a much better educated and dedicated society to, to health care than we were 10 or 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. I think we will. I think we, uh, we have the money, we have the time, we have the expertise. We definitely have the mandate under the Tobacco Control Act to do this. It's a federal law now, and there's, there's no real challenging it in court. It stands as it stands, and it says what it says. Um, so we're real optimistic that this time around we'll, we'll do a, a, lot, a lot better and stay in the game mm -hmm. and, and you know, prevent the, the unnecessary deaths through fires, which are caused by, uh, by people who smoke, as well as the health-related deaths. Uh, uh, oh, almost half a million that occur in this country every year. Yeah, I think we'll do better. I'm optimistic. Great, I am too. Uh, so now we're going to break for another video just showing the appeal to young potential smokers of tobacco products. All and other dangerous drugs harmful. How about tobacco?